Hey, I'm Jordan. And I'm also Jordan. This, this is, is Jordan, Jordan Squared. Squared. I am going to burn the land. Burn the land and all the patch roof cottages. I know that's a reference and I'm vaguely aware of the reference, but I've not actually... It's Trogdor from Strong Bad. Yeah, I'm aware of what that is, I'm just not aware of what that is, if that makes sense. You've never actually seen that? Yeah, so how do I get up there? Not that way. Right idea, wrong direction. I saw the path over there as I was. Wee. Ugh. That's tight. Mm-hmm. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the, um, a lot of the jumps were, yeah. Really gotta hug the wall. And that's why I would say the first game, like, th th this was, like, highly experimental new stuff when they were doing this, uh, on the original PlayStation, like, this was pretty cutting edge for its time. Not only in terms of... Ah! Almost fell. Yeah, so... Before I do the egg thief... Yeah. You will need a certain number of dragon eggs for progression at some point. This is like they said, you know, you get ten dragons to complete, to move on to the next world in this world, and then some of them, you know, it's you need treasure, some of them you need um, more, uh, yeah, some of them you need treasure, some of them you need a number of dragons, some of them you need... Are gemstones treasure? Yes. Okay. Yay! Uh, you got them all. Thor. Where's this hammer? Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. All dragons found. Hooray, you did it. I just gotta figure out how to do the egg. I mean, you basically just gotta chase him around. Or, you know, you could just catch him in a corner. Got everything? Yep. Yeah, and you can return to the home world from the pause menu at any time. No, sorry, you do actually have to tag the um, the end portal for it to, like... Count? You know what? They might have changed that, but that was, I believe, the case in the original game. Because I can exit level, but I don't want to risk it. Yeah. Or do I want to risk it? Risk it for the biscuit. Or something. But yes, you've already completed a level 100%. It's taken hold of you. You know what they really need to, to release? A banjo collection like this. Um. You're talking about banjo, kazooie, tui, nuts and bolts kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, because well, that was the thing. It's like I didn't, um, like I was talking about earlier, how the PlayStation was kind of what I grew up on. Um, but it was also like there was some cool uh, other stuff going on with it. Like, uh, you know, it was like there was Tiny Tank and there was a reboot game. Uh, yeah, busting that out after we, uh, we talked a lot about reboot ba way back in our first playthrough, I think. What the hell are those things? Those are, um, I don't know if they have a name, they're just orbs. You collect a certain number. Like, if you're killing an enemy that you've already killed before, it'll drop an orb instead of additional treasure. Okay. And then you collect enough of them. Oh yeah, how much treasure is here? 100. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah, no, it, um, yeah, because there was... This, there was games like this on the PlayStation that were like 
kind of the kid-friendly ones, but then there were also more serious games, Twisted Metal, um, there was a reboot game that, well, I think is actually considered canon, uh, just preceding yes. the events of the television series. Yes, as far as I'm aware, it is canon, and I played a little bit of it. It is ass. Yeah, it, it does not play well. Like, I remember turning on, like, a flying, uh, cheat code. Like, it very much does play like a tie-in game from the early 90s, mid-90s. Murder. Must commit genocide. No. No. Uh, I mean, they're norks. It's, no. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a video game. They're, they're not real. Yes, but that's also kind of where I should say. Probably not, no. It's not something you would ever you want to advocate for in real life. No. Except for Genocide City. That is a reference to to Sonic development. There was in Sonic 2 a level called Genocide City that they never They scrapped when they realize, like, yeah, that that's a name you shouldn't use because of the harshness. Yep. But the zone itself was repurposed to Act 3 of Metropolis Zone. That's why there's three acts in Metropolis Zone. Is there normally only ever two? Yeah, there's two acts in every level except for Metropolis Zone. But the last few zones also have one act each, but that's... I'm getting Diddy Kong Racing vibes. Argus! Oh god, I'm really getting. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now, if you feel you are ready. I don't. Yeah, if you had done that without completing another level first, he would have said, go back and complete at least one other level before you take on the boss. You have to complete two levels? No. Like, the only thing you need to really progress in the game is to get a certain amount of treasure. Um, but because killing enemies gives treasure, bosses count as a large amount of treasure. And uh. there's usually a dragon or two in, the, in those levels. Yes, but I want to save all the dragons. Because they're all our friends. Also, didn't the the songwriter of this game also... Yeah, it was the drummer for the police. That is not where I would go in, but oh, that's... Oh, sorry, where were you going? Okay. Something about the Manda show? Uh, that I can't speak on. Like, there's apparently a song level in this game. I... Ah! I thought that was a platform. Nope, there was a well. And you found a dragon. Well, well. Watch this guy's the dragon fly, Spyro. <laughs> his color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, <laughs> sure. Well, I assume I need a key. Yes, you assume correctly. We moving on up. We're moving on up in the world. Okay. It slightly irks me that I can't just kill the wildlife willy nilly because that's for my my health. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't remember it, like, because I know the, at least for a certain, being in a level if you kill something and stays dead until you reload the level. I don't know if that's true of the wildlife. I don't remember the least one. Yeah, you got him. He told me I could not pass. I disagree. Well, 
Gandalf was not fighting a dragon in that instance, he was fighting a Balrog. I mean... You know what? I'm not actually sure what the power tier on that would be. Gildas. Gildas! Which stronger, a Balrog or a dragon? Gyro, my friend. Probably depends oh, on which dragon. On gliding. You bet! During the, the first age, the elves the were pretty high up there in terms of power, like almost on par with the Maya. To, drop down mid to the point that, like, um, was it Gorfindel? It was one of, one of the big first age elf kings, like, fought Morgoth one on one and did, like, severe damage to him. Okay, I will believe everything you said because I. You've never read the Silmarillion, I know. Nobody has. Not even you. Yeah, I was just pulling all of that out of my ass. No, I, I have read it. Um, cannot go that way. Watch me. My head hurts now. Nah. Uh, I've seen the movies. Yep, like most people. That's the extent of your Lord of the Rings knowledge, which is fair. They are really good movies. Yes. The Lord of the Rings trilogy, the Hobbit trilogy... Also yeah. good. Decent, but not great. <sighs> really, really bloated. Oh, oh boy. I, I want to share an opinion, but I don't want you to kill me. Uh-oh. An opinion on the internet. Now. Those aren't allowed. Huh. It's actually a physical object. Yes. I saw a thing around here. Where'd it go? You mean a thief? Yeah. yeah. Right somewhere. Um. I, I kind of slightly enjoyed the Hobbit movies more than the Lord of the Rings movies. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, uh, clipping into something. Also, turn the game off and go home. You're fired. I'm kidding. Um. I mean, there are people who like the prequels better than the original Star Wars movies. They are also wrong, factually, but they're allowed to think that. By the way, I like the prequels more than the originals. Yeah, you're entitled to the... Uh, keep going or something else there. You, yeah, like I said, you're entitled to your wrong opinion. the key. And in fact, my favorite is Phantom Menace. At least it's not Attack of the Clones. That one's just so boring. Okay, I... I my favorite is actually Revenge of the Sith, but I said Phantom After Menace because that's even the one that's considered the, the worst. Pass through mm. this fancy vortex, this Jar Jar. This is the most Jar Jar, but stuff happens in it. But it's just the least consequential. You a story. No thanks. See ya! So I missed everything that dragon said because of our little. Well, that's what you Hi, get for Byron. liking the prequels. Yeah, let's let's rescue him again. Why'd you put me back After in there? After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> wow, that's rude. I mean, that was kind of the thing, is like Spyro was a... Because that's the thing, is Spyro was a bit more of an answer to uh, Sonic. He, like, he was like this stylized kind of attitude-having character. But yes, I, I, I genuinely did enjoy the prequels more, but not like in a, the, they were a masterpiece, and it's more of a, how do I word this? Very carefully. There were more laser swords in those ones, and I like me my laser swords. Yes, I know they're called lightsabers. I mean, Mark is like, Luke even refers to it as a as a laser sword in the last Jedi, so it... And I... 
There Again. Is, there is a map in the lower left corner of the screen. Yes, but that doesn't help me now because I wasn't looking at it this entire time. Gonna leave that dragon there? Yep. <laughs> He's like, why? Or she. Okay. E. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Alright, well, that's all the dragons, and next time on Jordan Square, maybe we'll figure out where the rest of that treasure and the thief guy is. <laughs> Thank you.